hello. Oh my God, look at this filter, eh? Well, it's something different. So I thought I'd try it. All right, hi ladies. I am just in my group Women Creating Healthy Lives, but if you're viewing this somewhere else uh, and you're not in my group Women Creating Healthy Lives on Facebook, then come and join us there. It is for women over 40. We deal with the midlife change and beyond. Um, all the changes that your body goes through, uh, why what used to work doesn't work anymore, and um, all of those kinds of things. I talk about hormones. I've been a fitness instructor, I mean a personal trainer, yoga instructor, raw food chef. I love making up my own recipes. I've studied hormones and nutrition, and I help women through this midlife phase and beyond, really working on body, mind, spirit, and bringing your body back into better balance. All right. I'm just going to refresh and then let everybody know I am live. See if anybody's going to pop on. This topic. Let's see if I'm on here. Oh, yeah, there we go. It looks kind of cool. I don't know what this frame's supposed to be, but whatever. I kind of like it because I kind of like the purple. Gives some color, right? All right, now let's see if we turn a light on. Is it going to take. The, oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. So the reason why I was just doing my um, in my 21 day group, which is 21 day shift shift to the next level, you a 21 day group. And it's not too late to join. We work a lot on mindset. And what we are talking about today is your stress response. And sometimes people like I know me, I'm the type of person that was raised where we do, 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 do is good. When you do, 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 you feel accomplished. It means you're a good person. It means that you are responsible, right? And our body gets used to that, doing, doing, doing. So when we try to relax or calm down, our body kind of freaks out. Our nervous system goes, oh my God, this is not normal. What are you doing? And the thing is about being in that type of space, well, you actually get a lot done. You're usually one of those people who are like, wow, she gets so much done. She's always active. She's so active. She's so busy, right? And we feel that ourselves. I'm so busy. I'm so active. I get so much done. I can get a lot done. I'm a good person. I do this. I do that, right? But what happens is it is stress to our nervous system and being in that consistent go, 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 go stress response. And then when something in your outer environment causes a stress, like this is what's going on right now, it brings more stress to us than what happens is um, we get put into an even more stress response because when you are a person who's kind of high stress anyways, it is so easy for you to be bumped into a higher stress level, okay? So our nervous system is already used to a higher level of stress because that's the way you may be wired. And when something in the environment more stressful happens, you get bumped up into, again, a higher stress level, okay? So this means that you are consistently now living in the super stress level. Well, your body, from years and years and years of habits and patterns and your neural pathways in your brain and your nervous system feels good when you're in that kind of higher stress state, okay? So sometimes we say there's some women who are addicted to drama, right? What about the people who are addicted to adrenaline? What about those adrenaline junkies? What about those people who um, love for when something happens all the time in their life, they feel good, it makes them feel good. Why? It's because their body, their nervous system is kind of constantly going like this, right? So when you try to slow down, that's a change and it feels weird and it feels awkward and it doesn't feel good. So you just want to go back up here again. So you're going to cause something in your life, a stress, you're going to cause something to be stressful. You're going to get into drama to bring yourself back up into a higher stress state because that feels normal to you. So your neuro, your neuro, neurological system, hi, hey, Betty, feels normal at that higher stress state, right? So that when you try to relax and bring yourself off that high stress state, which feels normal to you, when you try to relax, it feels abnormal. It doesn't feel good. Hi, Carol. And when you're used to thinking, I'm a good person because I'm fast, I do things, I'm active, I get things done, I do, 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 I'm very productive, this means I'm responsible, this means I can get things done, this means I'm protecting my family, this means I'm taking care of my family, this means, right, you're just like this, it's just boom, 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 boom. And when you try to relax or not do, 
in your head the stories are going in you're lazy you're irresponsible you're not reliant you're not doing what you're supposed to do um, you're not going to be safe because you're just being lazy you're just sitting there to see what I mean so we feel more comfortable up in a higher stress state and less comfortable down in a calm relaxed state so that I'm trying to keep that light on and why it keeps shutting off so that is why it may be really hard for you to come down and feel less stressed right now. For one, your body's used to being in kind of a higher stress state and that feels normal. And now you are bumped into an even higher stress state because of circumstances and environment. So then that feels normal and what society is experiencing is a high stress state. So you are feeling normal in a higher stress state when you don't stress let's say you say no I'm gonna meditate I'm gonna relax I'm gonna like not worry at all I'm gonna sit here and be pure calm and bliss <laughs> what happens is your body goes this is not normal excuse me there's a lot of things you got to do and besides everybody around you is stressing why are you being calm something must be wrong with you you must be lazy you're not productive you're irresponsible what the heck is wrong with you right so then you want to bring yourself back up to that high stress state because then your system goes, yes, this is where we are used to hanging out. Do you see what I mean? So that's why it feels hard to bring yourself down into a low stress state, especially when you believe there are all these reasons around you why you need to feel stressed, why you need to do some, some something right I should be doing this I need to be doing this I need to feel this way because this is going on in my life I can't be relaxed I can't be at peace I can't feel calm I can't just sit here and do nothing that's wrong right so it's these beliefs these patterns our nervous system the way we are wired in our brain from a lot of years of reacting that way, that now, now we're in this situation and we're like, oh my God, you're sitting around and you're like, okay, I'm gonna try to relax. I'm gonna try to just breathe. I'm gonna try to meditate. I'm gonna try to not to worry. But you're not set up that way yet. You're not used to it. So just be aware that it's gotten super dark in here for some reason. So I'm just gonna turn on the light. So be aware that that is going on and all that is is because you are used to staying in a high stress state and maybe you were raised my well, light's not coming on maybe you were raised by parents like me who believed that the doing 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 was the right thing that keeping super busy all the time was being a good person, being responsible, being safe, taking care of your family, and actually taking care of you and your life. So hundreds of years ago, if a family or a couple or a person was not doing, 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 they would not survive, right? So hundreds of years ago, we would not survive if we were not actively busy for most of our whole day. So biologically, our body is thinking being busy means surviving. Being active, being super busy means surviving. And being a little stressed is what releases the adrenaline, which gives you the energy to be active. So in your, your body, our biological body, which is thousands of years old, needs, realizes and believes that we need to keep busy to survive and a bit of stress, we need that stress to produce extra adrenaline so we can actually physically do the actions required. So that's what is going on in our body. So at times like this, our body takes over a lot of the times produces more adrenaline produces more cortisol wants to keep us busy because it sees us i need to survive i'm in danger you see what i mean and if my phone dies i'll just cut out because it's acting weird so just notice that i might just cut out all of a sudden that just mean my phone 
my phone. Um, so I want you guys to think about that and just realize, wow, so I'm keeping myself in this higher stress state because my body, for one, is kind of actively taking over right now. But also, I've ran those patterns, behaviors, beliefs, and habits for years and years and years. Um, they might not have been so extreme, but now we are in a very extreme time. So all of that is adding to us being up in a higher stress state, even though we may not want to be there. But when you have the awareness of, okay, my body's probably taking over, um, my body, my biological body, my brain, which your brain just wants you to survive. So your brain's going to do anything just to keep you alive. And it believes that you need to be at this state to fight your for your life, okay? So that's what's going on, even though we don't. Um, so our system's doing this to ourself. Our nervous system is wired for this. So when we try to relax and get out of that high stress state, it feels totally abnormal because our, our nervous system cannot adjust to it that fast. So what you gotta do is you just gotta do things like doing the breath, inhale for four, holding at the top, exhaling for six, hand on your heart, counting your breath, right? One, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, as you exhale. And continuing that even for 10 breaths, right? And then you can also imagine as you exhale, you're bringing your breath down through your body and grounding into the center of the earth, okay? And that the earth is very stable, secure, centering, grounded energy. And as you exhale, you feel like your body just relax and you feel all the stress, worry, fear, go down, down, down into the center of the earth and stay there. Then as you inhale, imagine the loving, grounding earth's energy come up in through your body and filling your whole body. And then as you exhale, imagine any fear, stress, worry, doubt, fear, go down, 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 down into the center of the earth as you relax your shoulders and your neck and your mouth and your jaw. And then inhaling for four again, bringing out the beautiful, secure, safe earth energy, filling up your whole body. And then as you exhale, bringing all the fear, worry, pain, stress down, down into, your body, into the center of the earth and leaving it there. So even doing that 10 times, like 10 breaths like that, three times a day, helps you calm your nervous system, lower your heart rate, which helps calm your nervous system. Hand on the heart helps you connect to your body, helps you to get out of your head, the spinning head, into your body, feeling fully present when you do that breath, right? Feeling fully present, finding the inner you, the safety, security, peace that is always, always within you. Just reminding yourself that you do not have to be up in this super stressed state. Even though it feels normal and also that everybody else in your whole in this right now is experiencing that, it doesn't mean it's good. It may feel normal, but it doesn't mean it's good. High stress lowers your immune system, so it's one of the worst things you can do right now, okay? One of the worst. So you can even sit down and write out, what are some of the best things I can do for my body right now? What are some of the best things I can do for my health right now? What are some of the best things I can do to help my spirit, like believe and have faith and have trust that everything's gonna work out? And none of those things would be stress or fear or worry, right? So I dare take a piece of paper and pen and write out what are some of the best things I can do right now for my body, my physical body? What are some of the best things I can do right now for my health? What are some of the best things I can do right now for my spirit, which is build your faith, build the trust, build love, come from love, all of those things, right? And start doing more of those. And you can write out what are some of the worst, th what is something that would be really hard on my body and my mind and my spirit right now? And that would be the stress, the worry, and the fear. That is very low vibration. It is only, that is the dark, that is the negative, right? Shine more light, where there's darkness, shine more light. 
right? Shine love and shine light. That is faith and love. That is not stress, worry, and fear. So we all know this. We all know this. But this is a reminder. Check in with yourself. How are you choosing to feel and be each day? And that's the energy you're coming from. The thoughts you think. The words you say. Okay? So coming from the place, right? I'm choosing to feel more faith, love, trust. See the beauty in life. Right? I'm choosing to believe and have faith in a higher power. And believe and have faith that everything's going to work out. I choose to honor my body. I choose to feed my body and fuel it with the best things so that it is strong and healthy. Right? I choose to move my body in a way that feels good for me. I choose to love myself and love others. And I choose to send love out into the world. Because that's what it needs. It doesn't need any more stress or fear. Not at all. Right? The only way we can overcome that is to outshine it, right? Shine more light where there is darkness. Shine more love where there is fear. So that's what we're all here to do. And this is your reminder. And that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and um, if you need help with helping bring your body back into better balance, body, mind, and spirit with what you eat, the stress reduction tools, techniques, and practices, and the mindset shifts, of course, right? That's what I'm really big on. Then I do one-on-one -on -one coaching, four weeks and six weeks, and I also have just one session where you can um, we can talk for 60 to 90 minutes, whatever you most need help with, and I give you like recipes and handouts and anything that you need to support you in a big way, and that is only $111 right now. I kept my, for this period, my one-on-one -on -one coaching is at a very, very, very low price right now. Um, just to help anybody who needs that extra support, customized for themselves, and likes to do it like in more of a private way. I, I know, I was going to do it public and I didn't, and because I didn't know what I was really going to talk about. So what I'm going to do for anybody who wants to th share this, I'm going to download this video, put it on my personal and put it on my business page, and you will be able to share it from there. Thank you so much for those for sharing. Um, yes, I should have went on my business page. I just decided to do it in a private group tonight. Um, but I will post it on my personal, Diana Marchand. And also I have a business page called Diana Marchand. <laughs> Same thing. Um, and you can share from there. So I will be doing that. In a, um, it'll be up later tonight. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. Yes, yeah, share the message. Share the love. Shine your light. And please, more positive messages. Faith, trust, and belief. Right? In yourself, humanity, and of course, God, source, universe, whatever you wish to call it. All right, much love to you. Bye-bye.